So this is the topology. Uh, we have R1. This is the PC where I'm connecting. This is your WSA. This is the client PC from where we'll be testing. So I'll just write down here. This is your test PC from where we'll be testing this. Uh, this is your PC where I have RDP. So this is you can you you can say okay I will type just RDP here. Uh, this is your WS Web Security Appliance with the address of 10.11.11.50 slash 24. <coughs> Uh, this is your firewall so the inside network is 10 11 11 0 as usual and the outside here is 192 168 1 uh, outside of this firewall is 192 168 1.161 which in turn is actually going to uh, the router edge router of the company which in turn is going to the internet all right so uh, for the verification purpose if you go to your xppc and if you try to validate uh, or verify this uh, i would preferably open the chrome the browser and this would take me to this would show me the internet page all right so uh, yep so ultimately i have uh, access to the internet all right uh, even same thing with the mozilla and i8 no take me to the google page google.com and i can go to google.com so the page is open and uh, even ie you can go and take so I'll do is all right. So this is your IE Internet Explorer. This is your Mozilla server. So, from so I have the complete internet connectivity. For this what I have done is <coughs> for this what I have done is uh, I've taken a ASC firewall I've done patting using the interface command I'll show you this now you can say show running object I've created an object everybody on the inside and show running that um, this is the translation where in any of any IP coming from this network yeah this is it so any IP coming from inside going outside is dynamically padded to the interface uh, show accelerate no, so this is your this is, these are the translations what we are going through all right so these are the translations all pat on the running appliance so uh, and this is where I'm browsing to the WSA. So I'll log in into WSA and we'll try to initialize the WSA. So to initialize this, you would come to system administration followed by system setup wizard, which will take you through the steps. So let's configure this one. I'll give some name, let's say WSA dot enter. WSA dot CCI lab dot com. I'll use a DNS. Let's say this I would pick here and I would use four two 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 here. 
NTP I don't have what I'll be doing is let's make this R1 as NTP uh, it's not really required but uh, let's set up so NTP server would be 10 11 11 1 we are in Asia India and Kolkata hit next to continue this is asking you for another uh, proxy server in your network so the diagram here the presentation here down depicts that your WSA iron port S series you should deploy it closest to the client so if you have internet you have firewall and you have another proxy then another proxy would be close to the internet and your WSA will be close to your clients all right so we don't have any another web proxy in the network so we'll be continuing so next this is the config of management your this checkbox here is to make your m1 to be used only for management as we don't have any other port available as of now so we would be using the m1 port uh, of or the management port of iron port for both tr uh, traffic and management traffic if you're using if you ch check this one for management use only then you would need to configure the data interface uh, so in this case this uh, appliance has got only one interface that the same interface would be used for incoming and outgoing uh, or else uh, uh, on the higher end appliances you would see two uh, interfaces p1 and p2 wherein you can use uh, simplex ta simplex tab here wherein one would be used for bringing in the traffic one will be used to for the outgoing traffic so and this is for your layer 4 monitoring wherein uh, we have only if you have only one interface then you would be using t1 for in and out and if you have two interfaces then you would be using simplex tab wherein t1 is for incoming traffic and t2 is for the outgoing traffic hit next this is about the routing my default gateway is not uh, this rather my default gateway is the uh, firewall inside interface which is 192.168.1. Uh, uh, it's 10.11.11.10 to be precise yep followed by if you have additional routes you can add it here and add them to the routing table click next <clears throat> uh, this is for the redirection uh, as of now I would just say uh, WCCP version 2 router and we'll continue with this will come back to this and configure this because I am not going to use the standard web cache ID which is web cache 0 which uh, uh, selects uh, traffic that coming on port 80 alone you don't have um, capability of adding uh, multiple ports here so I'll uncheck this and we'll move to next the default password administrator password is iron port so i'll stick to it next the email alert uh, i would say something something this is okay limited summary and this network participation sensor based network participation this is this allows to gather anonymous statistics on http request and report them to cisco in order to identify and stop stop web based threats so in case there is some url which is not uh, present in the database uh, dynamic content analyzer can run it and you uh, you can participate in the uh, report you can uh, send a report anonymously you can send a report to Cisco uh, for the URL click on next 
global policy default action is to monitor all traffic therefore traffic monitoring is monitor only acceptable user control is enabled here repetition filtering is enabled where this is enabled enabled that's good and we move ahead next so no changes on that page ultimately what we do is we submit this so we hit on install this configuration so this might redirect you to the name of your company uh, for that you what you would need is a domain name server wherein you can resolve the name so you, you can uh, put the address of your WSA with the name on the uh, DNS server so like this so it's, it's gonna redirect but this name is not available here so it's gonna give me error that's just a DNS error nothing much so we can have a local DNS server where from where this sorry from where this name can be resolved as of now I'll manage with the address so 10 11 11 dot 50 and this will take me back to the WSC and there you go all right so we are back here all right the next step would be to configure a uh, transparent redirection so i'll come here i'll add a service i'll just name it uh, lab or cci lab i'll add service number 90 let's say port r1 port 80 port 443 <coughs> we add the address of the firewall which is 10 11 11 10 here from where the redirection will be done this is where you can customize it what forwarding method or what returning method to be used or as it will be dynamically picked submit ultimately comment this So this is done. What we do is we can go to the firewall and say show WCCP or show running WCCP. Show running access list. Again, this is not committed. Uh, no issues. I had actually configured this so you can create here you can create access list uh, permit all right I'll say WSA permit IP any from uh, permit IP host 10 11 11 50 that's the IP address of WSA going to anybody and access list let's say redirect permit tcp any to any on port 80 and port 443 wccp wcsh id 90 followed by your group list that's for wsa and your redirect list that's for the rest of the traffic we apply it by saying WCCP interface inside the web cache ID and the direction. Web cache. All right, you get it. So this is perfect. So what we do is next now we can configure this <coughs> so
so first of all we create some user identities uh, so as of now if we try we go and test it on from the client pc you will see that you can go to every site every possible site www.linkedin dot com Okay, this is because HTTPS proxy is not enabled. So what we can do is we can go to like www dot dot com. So you can go to any HTTP site because HTTPS proxy is not enabled. You can go to www dot bbc news dot com. You can go to sister.com. So all the pages are coming back properly, no issues. All right, we'll be testing this. Good, good. So what we do is, as it's being redirected, we go create identities. So I'll add an identity that would be for the internal network. So my network, I would say anybody from network 10, 11, 11, 0, slash 24. Submit this. Okay, this is to my... Doing that, it's still blocked. Flow is denied by configuration. Drop Finally, we commit this. Double policy. Commit this. Commit. Submit it. Next, you go to access policies. Click on access policies. Click on add policies and add a policy for network 10 my network i want to pick a select one for this is for a st specific group so select it no authentication is required and submit this <coughs> finally you can commit this so as of now it doesn't take any action because all are allowed what we do is we perform some of some url filtering so we go to url filtering and what we do here is we block some of the sites 
like so what we do is we block some of the sides like let's allow news and block professional networking we don't have this Block this. Let's check what are the sites. Okay, that's a job search. Mm, this is media. This is job search. Mm. It is job search. So I'll block job search. streaming media and I said that this is it submit and coming changes time to verify go to the client PC or the test PC these pages are actually cached so let's try it from here Let's say HTTP to mockery.com and you get what? You get an error saying that the, this page cannot be displayed because your organization's access policy, access this website has been blocked because the web category job search is not allowed. Right, similarly, you can uh, hunt for um, for the other sites, but your new site will still work. There you go. All right. Similarly, if we try to go to YouTube.com, this is blocked because it falls under streaming video category, and that's that's not allowed. So news you get, but your this page is blocked earlier this was working now it's the block all right let's say we want to block susku.com so what you can do is like so you, we create some custom url so you come here you come to custom url categories click on custom url categories add a category uh, susku.com and you name www.cisco.com so let's try with this submit this coming to changes So as of now, if you go to client PC and you try to go to cisco.com, you get the page. At the same time, once we add the category into the blocking list, we do it by going to web security manager and going to access policies and we click on add policy not add policy we click on url filtering and we add a custom category 
so we have cisco.com category and we include this in the existing policy and the action we want is block so we submit this or let's say we, we take we take uh, action as one <coughs> let's just warn him just for for the sake of testing and we commit the change <coughs> so time to test go to candidate pc and say Oh, let's say you are warned you are a warning acknowledge and then you would click once you click on this acknowledgement you are taken to cisco.com you are taken but with the acknowledgement all right that's for your warning <coughs> so same thing if we try from the candidate pc we we'll try to go to www.cisco.com and this is able to go out yes so this is not going through that this is just bypassing so the wsa so <coughs> because this is directly connected to the system so no issues तो उसमें रहेंगे तुम सिस्टम का ले लो बस सिस्टम का ही कर दो हाँ सिस्टम का बैकअप रख लो कॉन्टेक्स का तो ऑलरेडी वो एडमिन में से आ जाएगा अच्छा हाँ अच्छा हाँ 